So, more quite familiar stuff. Uh, Ashiro techniques. So, when you're beginning, you start in this way. That somebody takes your wrists, or maybe they take your elbows, take my elbows. Or there's also one where they take a wrist and they go around the throat like that. Now, if this happens, you're probably a bit late, to be honest. You've got to react to it early. But what you can do with these techniques, by, by learning them that way, is you can make Ushiro happen. So I threaten his face. He takes. I take him round behind. So what I'm doing here is I'm using Torafuni. So what's happening is, as he drops, my hips go back, and I go under, and take down. So you can see the logic, that's what, what he's trying to do is strike me. And so this one is in a way the most practical for that. And you know, I have it like a sword, I have it extended, he's not going to be able to counter that. But yeah, it's, it's held properly. Now, if he's surprised and he, he, do, he doesn't really go for the hit but goes for the grab, then we have other techniques. I mean, his hand will be in that area. Oops, we're getting a bit sweaty. So, his hand is going to be in that area naturally. So, if he sees, so he you threaten my face, my natural instinct is to knock it down, come and punch him. That's probably my intention to knock it down. But if I perhaps don't have an explicit intention, he threatens my face and grab it, it will be natural. for my arm to be available to him somehow. Now it can be a lot less complicated and we're going to be careful with this one because obviously the dangers will be evident. So basically I accelerate him round and I meet him with my elbow. Or if we're looking for an Aikido technique, just let's slow it down. We're looking at Sockman. You're in Minagi. So I obviously don't want it, so I fall over. So in Aikido terms, uh, basically I draw him in, raise my sword, cut his head off. Thank you. 